Finally tired of doing the same things over and over again, expecting different results? Well, this show is going to help you change your life for the better. Strap on your seatbelt and navigate this roller coaster we call life with human potential expert and best selling author, Dr. Verna Price. Each week, Dr. Verna blesses you with her virtues to live your best life so you can be the best you that you can be. Welcome back to Dr. Vernon's Virtues. So glad to have you join me again. For those of you who are brand new, please do, um, you know, listen in and subscribe and tell your family and friends to do the same. Um, so it's great to have you. And those of you who are just my regulars, great to see you again. Great to have you join me. So I've been thinking a lot about this particular topic. And, um, and the topic is the real you. Right, the real you. Oh, by the way, I have a twisty right here that's like coming up and doing its own thing. When you have natural hair, it does whatever it wants to do, however it wants to do it. And um, so and there are days when it wants to go, woo. But today I'm talking to the real you. And um, just the other day I put on my Facebook post is the real you is who you are when no one's looking. Let me say it again. The real you is who are you when no one is looking? When you are not in the process of pleasing people or wanting someone to like you or wanting someone to think that you're important, who are you when no one is looking? And why is that so important? It's critical to your leadership and it's critical to your success. We're going to talk about that in a minute after our affirmation. So let's go ahead and start with our affirmation and let's do the personal power one today because you're going to need this to actually be your most authentic self. Okay, you ready? Put your hand on your heart. Repeat after me. My power is my ability to think a new positive thought see a new positive vision, speak new po positive words, write new positive goals, and to do something new and positive with, with my life, my family, my community, and my world by taking a new positive action step. So go ahead and take a new action step wherever you might be. So I was thinking about this, and um, the other day my husband said something to me that kind of struck me, and, and what he said was that and we were just coming back from an awards ceremony um, and, you know, I'm thankful uh, uh, the Women Presidents Organization and the 100 Black Men um, honored me as a woman president. And I was very thankful for that. As, and I graciously accept it. And, you know, I'm just thankful that someone would even think to uh, think about me and think about my work and think about my impact and award me for it. So just thank you so much to those organizations. And um, so and my husband, of course, went with me and, you know, I saw many women there who were amazing and uh, women who I look up to and women who are doing incredible things um, in my area here. And um, so, of course, I was just being myself, right? I just, this is who I am and just being myself and having a good time and having some good laughs and hanging out and networking and meeting people and hearing their stories and connecting. And my husband says to me, he says, you know what, sweetheart? He says, you know what I really love about you is that you're you wherever you go. You're you wherever you go. You're you at home. You're you in the office. You're you, you know, when you're giving talks. You're you when you're getting honored. You are, you're just you. I can count on you just being yourself. And um, when I posted the other day, uh, who, you, who you really are is when no one is looking. You know, I had some reactions to that. Uh, because here's the deal. We have been socialized as people to put on a show. We've been socialized to make some, want to make other people like us and want to kind of be something that other people want to see. But the fact is that when no one is looking, we're not that person. So here you are, you are working really hard to be out and flamboyant and this and that. But when no one is looking, you barely have energy to get out of bed right? Here you are. And, 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 here's, and here's what we do in the process. When we're not, not being our most authentic self, what does that mean? To become your most authentic self, first you must just get to know who you are and appreciate that. Appreciate that. 
You know what? Um, I have friends who are, they are quiet, they are reserved, they are sweet people, they, they're intelligent, but you know what? Not the people that I know that it's going to be the first person to want to get up on a stage, but they may be the person who will be the first person to say, you know what, Dr. Verna, I can help you figure this out behind the scenes. So they're, they're more quiet, reserved people, and that's just who they are. So so they're not going to go into some crowd and pretend to be this and that. The truth is that this is just not who they are. And when you understand who you are what and, and, and love who you are, not just understand, but love who you are. Many, many years ago, I just remember uh, one of my pastors, he said to me, and this was, I was just coming out of college and, um, and you think I have a lot of energy now. Oh my, right. Just, just, just put me back about 20, 30 years and, and multiply this energy. And oh my, I was like this coming off the screen all the time. And um, he says, he said to the congregation about me. And at that time I was a, I was a youth worker. Um, at the church and just, you know, new college graduate, just wanting to help the world and wanting to impact young people. And he said to the, the, um, the congregation, he said, you know what, that Verna, she is a peculiar person. A very peculiar person. And at first I thought to myself, hold it. Are you talking about me? Are you talking about me? Right? I, I'm like, what do you mean by that? And then I went back and I studied the biblical source of that particular word. And I studied what it really means to be peculiar. And I thought, you know what? Yeah, I, I realized that what he was saying was that she is one of a kind. She is her authentic self. You can count on her being for real herself. And that she's come to a place where, when, and, I, and I had to come to a place where I fully embraced understanding who I am, my energy level, my, my zest for life, my love for people, my big vision, my big ways of doing things. Um, and at the same time, you know, wanting my family, wanting to, 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 to make sure that I have impact equal impact both in the community and in my family. And um, so I just had to come to a place where I was absolutely at peace with who I am when no one is looking, right? When no one is looking. And in that process, you also understand that who you are has nothing to do with perfection. It's like, you're not perfect. Who you are is not perfect. Who you are is specific and it's important to you. Now, why is this so important? Because here's what I want. I have seen too many people in public be one thing and in private be another. Don't tell me that you are, you know, four people and you are four family and you haven't talked to your spouse. You haven't talked to your children. You don't even like your spouse. You don't even like your children. You only, you're not kind to anybody. And then when you're in the public, you're like, oh, everything is perfect because you know what? I'm this and that. No, you're living a double life. And this might be kind of hard. This was hard for me. It was hard for me to come to this place where I had to realize like, listen, you've got to be authentic all the time. Be authentic all the time. Whether it's at home, whether it's at church, whether it's at school, that you are yourself. And here's what's so beautiful. When you become your authentic self, the real you, and you take the real you wherever you go, like no matter where you show up, you, you're you, right? And you're at home, you're you. That's just who you are. You're, you're authentic. What you do is you build, you build a, um, what I would say a foundation of credibility where someone can trust you. Like, you know what? I can, I can trust that person because I know they're for real. I know that who I'm looking at and what they are saying, they really mean it. They're not just talking their stuff. They're actually walking it. You know, we are in a season right now of election. It's election season. So there's a lot of talk going on. There's a lot of conversations going on. And you really, when you take a look at those conversations, the question I always ask myself is that no matter what you're saying to me, are you willing to walk that out? 
not just talk it out, but walk it out. And what does that mean? Who is the real you? What do you really believe? What do you really want? What do, what do you really value? Can you be for real with yourself? Here's what I want you to do. And I'm doing this for myself as well. This is work for all of us, just so you know, right? I'm working on behind the scenes, becoming my most excellent self behind the scenes. So that when I get on the scene, whatever on the scene might be for you, right? On the scene might be in front of a classroom, in front of a corporation, in a boardroom, you know, um, you're, you're in retail, you have to go and sell the new product, whatever you're on the scene, you're a pastor, you have to get up at church, you're, you're a producer, you have to make something happen, whatever you're on the scene is, that you're behind the scene and you're on the scene is connected. You are congruent. And what does that do for you? It makes you stronger. It makes you happier more peaceful. It makes me healthier. And in the business world, it makes you trustworthy and credible and reliable. And you begin to have more impact. So what I want to say to you today, work on the real you. Cherish the real you, love the real you, and walk boldly in the real you. And I can't wait to hear about your results. Some of you need to send me an email sometime. Send me an email sometime. Let me know how this work is impacting you. And I will be happy to respond. Um, find me on drvernaprice.com. I also, uh, please buy my books, learn more, grow more, and just know that I'm here to help you in any way I can. Let's go ahead and finish up with our personal power affirmation. My power is my ability to. Think a new positive thought, see a new positive vision, speak new positive words, write new positive goals, and do something new and positive with my life by taking a new positive action step. Take that action step and have an awesome, awesome week. See you later. Bye. Get caught up on previous episodes of Dr. Verna's Virtues at ShalettaMakesMeLaugh.com. Get fast, reliable internet for any budget. Now qualifying customers can get Xfinity internet free through the Affordable Connectivity Program. That's right, free high-speed internet from Xfinity. And Internet Essentials customers can get equipment included at no extra cost. Get started today. At hy we take pride of being part of the communities we serve. In 2021, we donated more than 14 million meals, and this year, we're committed to doing even more. For over 90 years, we've been the place that people turn in time of need, and we take that very seriously. That's why we're loading our semis full of food this week and making deliveries across the Midwest to help families this Easter. To join our effort, simply donate when you're at the checkout. Together, we can make a big difference for those in need. Looking for a meaningful career with great pay and great benefits? Want to be part of something bigger? Here's your chance. Union Pacific Railroad is hiring train crew members of the Twin Cities area, now offering hiring incentives up to $15,000. No previous railroad experience is needed. We provide all the essential training and you can get a free college education while working. Get your career on the right track with Union Pacific and apply today at up.jobs slash Minnesota. That's up.jobs slash Minnesota. There's a new way to get around in North Minneapolis. It's Metro Transit Micro, a new ride sharing service that connects you with Metro Transit bus routes or wherever you need to go on the north side. It's convenient, affordable, and accessible. Metro Transit Micro uses minibuses to reach more neighborhoods and you'll have shorter wait times. It costs just the same as bus routes and it's easy to use. You can pay your fare in cash, a go-to card, or the Metro Transit app. Just go to metrotransit.org slash micro. Download the app and create your account. It's really simple. So whether you're going to a friend's house in Bryn Mawr to watch the Vikings game, or you need to get dropped off at the Metro Sea Line station to hop on a bus to get to work across town, Metro Transit Micro got you covered. Book a ride, get picked up, and get where you need to go. Start riding today on one of the new Metro Transit Micro minibuses. 
It's back to school time, and that means it's back to cooking breakfast for your kiddos and making school lunches. That's a lot of cracked eggshells and cut off sandwich crust. Now listen, before you think about throwing those food scraps away, think about recycling them. Ramsey County has a program that can help you do just that, and it won't cost you a dime. Ramsey County has a free food scraps recycling program that lets you collect stuff like apple cores, coffee grounds, and veggie scraps. Here's how it works. Put all those scraps into a compostable bag. Then once a week, drop it off at a free food scrap site by your house. And listen, I understand that life is busy, so if you can't get there once a week, just toss the bag in the freezer until you can find the time to do it. To locate a food scrap collection site near you and to get more information about the program, visit RamseyRecycles.com slash food scraps and tell your friends and family about it. Let's all do our part to help save the planet. All right, did you know I was the Mommy Slam Dunk champion? Really? <laughs> yes, really, don't sound so surprised. Let's see it. Oh, you're ready, all right, here we go. Let's hear the crowd. So go to right, I go to left, fake a mom. Mama, go, oh, mama! <laughs> She did it. Again? You can't avoid gravity, but United Healthcare can help you avoid financial surprises by helping you compare costs and doctor quality ratings. United Healthcare. Uh huh.